All right, and we're back with what will be the uh, the final piece of the uh, the pirates portion of this live stream. We're gonna pirate for a little bit longer, and then we will go and TF2 for a little bit with subscribers. If you're a subscriber, you'll be given the password to our private TF2 for server, and we can play a little bit of that. Okay, um, I think I've done everything in town here that I need to do. Uh, I'm not gonna get some extra men um, because I can live without that for now. And try to keep the crew keep the crew a little bit smaller so they get not quite as unhappy. Um, shipwright, we're good there. We traded things. All right, let's sail away. And so what we're going to try to do is find those huts again. Now, the huts were right at the end, right? So almost certainly on the west side, near Captain's Point, I suspect. So yes, we'll go ahead and just uh, dock right here by Captain's Point. People are saying the huts are the thing. Now, I don't know if people really know that or just sort of repeating what one person started to spam. We will look again. I'm hoping to find something that matches what we actually see, you know, on our little map. Dead tree, geyser. There's a geyser. There's just some rocks and a totem. Uh, this might be the dead tree. Hold on. Could that be? Who dat? Alturan, hey! Thank you very much for subscribing! So, dead tree geysers. There are geyser right by this, like, hangman's tree? Over there. Ish. I mean, there's some other stuff around here, too. <laughs> we're here, then we have to go southwest. So we're facing north right now. Uh, so that's east. So southwest would be sort of in this direction. There's another geyser over there. And look, look for a brown cabin. That cabin that I saw much earlier might have been a little closer to the town. Another geyser and maybe a dead tree over here. Actually, this might be. This is the well, a dead tree and a geyser. And I think that's actually the right word. I think this is the correct tree and geyser. Who's that? Green Sombrero! Thank you very much for subscribing. Dead tree and geyser pointing directly to the lost sister. Okay. So now at this point, sort of... We're going east, though. Where's the red arrow? Oh, that's the wind direction. Oh, sorry. No, I'm keep. I'm saying this fucking wrong. I'm going southeast. I'm going southeast. Okay. Fucking English much? Direction much? There's another geyser dead tree combo over here. I feel like we're too far south from where we were um, the last time some people thought they saw a hut. Ah, uh, there's a, a stone arch, which is on the map. See, now we're actually finding... There we go, arch stone. We're actually finding the... Um, the bits. There we go. This hut. We're actually finding the, um, the landmarks we were looking for. Boom! Kick the door open! I've rescued my long-lost sister! The evil villain, Marquis Montalban, who wrongly, who wronged our family, sails the waters of the Spanish main in his mighty galleon, Del Carmen. At last report, he was lurking in the city of Trinidad. So, I get some important information about the main villain. Um, is that a treasure galley? Is that what it said? I think that's what it said. Or trade galleon. Okay, let's go anyway. Rip this stuff up. I don't know if my, my sister is still on the ship or anything, which seems like a bad time to get in combat. That's not actually modeled in the game. Maybe we just left her in the hut. We're like, alright, thanks for the info, sis. Have a good day. Enjoy your hut. Alright. Oof! That wind. It's going to be very difficult to close here. We're going to have to tack against it a bit. Make sure to it a little bit more to make sure it can't go anywhere. Chain shot. There we go. Tear up those sails. Oh my god! Look at, look, look! <laughs> okay, the wind is sort of blowing a little south here, so if I come to this way, I should be able to close in. There we go. Nice. Uh, we may take a little shot. Thank you for surrendering. 
Uh, can I dump you? No, I'll have to keep you. You're like completely obliterated, but I want to make sure to take all the loot. And then go back up to uh, Curacao, most likely. Although, yeah, there's not really somewhere else I can sell things. This is going to be a problem. It's, if I want to go and get my treasure near Margarita. Yeah, we're, we're going to loop around here. Try not to go through the shoals. Bring this new ship over. Just sell in Curacao, which is still a relatively rich city. Immigrants. I don't want to destroy the immigrant ship. It feels rude. Get out of my way. Go away. <laughs> yes, I've turned into a cat. I want to dump off this stuff, then go get treasure, and then maybe we'll do a division. Keep attention to their flag during the fight. They do straight. Oh, they actually visually strike their colors? I never noticed that. Yeah, we're at war. Hey, I'm an admiral! Ship upgrades will be cheaper. Well, I basically have all my ship upgrades. Increase the size of my estate by 50 acres. Your attractive daughter. You want a ruby... <sighs> no, sorry. Don't have one. I do have one. But I'm waiting for, like, a beautiful daughter to, uh, to want a ring before I marry her. I know. I'm shallow. I'm very shallow. It's like, not like I know this lady for anything. We've just danced a couple of times together. Apparently I'm short a couple of guns. That kind of sucks. Sell some extra food as well. There we go. Whoa, that's too much. That. And then we can go to the shipwright, repair our actual ship, sell the other one for, like, nothing. Um, go to the tavern. Got something cool for sale? No, just some information about Nassau. Yeah, welcome aboard. Hopefully you guys don't uh, rebel. 9,000 gold pieces on my head from the Spanish. Marquis Montalban, he left Trinidad, was heading in the direction of Caracas. Holy crap, he's super close! Well, he left Trinidad, I don't know where Trinidad is, I think it's over here somewhere? He's heading to Caracas. Dude, dude, dude! We're gonna go kill the effer who effed our effing family. Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad. Where is Trinidad? He's going here, to Caracas. Geography. It's hard. Oh, Trinidad is over there. So if we just go along the coast and sail east, we'll run into him. Yes. <coughs> no, we don't want to attack the immigrants. That would be rude. Oh, flying. <laughs> flying. Sailing east sucks. This wind. My crew's not flipping out. Is that you? Yes, it's him. I want to get to the other side. Spanish Flag Galleon, Marquis Montalban. We don't have to- oh my god, he's got a lot of crew. We definitely have to kick the shit out of his ship a lot. With some grape shot. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, he's just gonna try to close right away because he's got massive numbers advantage. There we go. Taking out a lot of his crew real fast. I'm gonna chain shot him as well. I want to make sure he can't run away. I mean, he should be pretty aggro. Ooh, that's bad. Not ranging me. Uh, yeah, this is particularly bad. I better be able to catch up to him. Um. Oh, Christ. All right, we're just going to close in. I'll have to beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is the guy who kidnapped my entire family. The evil Marquis Montalban emerges from hiding below decks. You have found me at last, Mr. Quill, but you will regret crossing swords with me. On guard. Oh, I have a gun too, buddy. Ha-ha. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ooh. Oh my god. Duck. Counter. Uh, jump. Duck. Counter. 
Duck! Ha! Duck! Holy crap, he's fast. I don't have a whole lot of pirates, but... Oh, that should have been a parry. Parry! Oh, jump! No! Taunted me. Fuck! Oh my god, I'm down to 23 pirates. Come on. Finally jumped one of those. Oh! He's destroying me! We're down to three pirates! Oh, the problem is... Oh no, it's too one-sided. I'm gonna get destroyed. I'm out of men. But he, the more of an advantage he has, the more of a manpower advantage he has, the faster he goes. You managed to swim to a deserted island. Many months passed before you were rescued by a passing ship. The men elect you as captain. How many men do I have right now? 40 crew. He's still there. He's going to shoot at me from a distance? I want to go back against him. I don't want to leave him be. You know what? Let's just go get our goddamn treasure. Recruit a massive crew and go and kick his fucking ass. Let's just go let's just focus on the treasure. God damn it. That was brutal how fast he was moving. I need I just need more men to get a, a proper uh, combat advantage. Yeah, I know there was the payroll ship. I could have gone after that. But it's going to be slow enough going as is. I don't want to get any sail damage. I just want to sail east to um, Margarita. Wasting away in Margaritaville. What's uh, How's my age now? 23 years old. It's just a normal trade ship. Treasure Galleon! Double treasure galleons. Triple treasure galleons. Fuck it, we got a whole 40 men. They only have 28. No, they have 28 guns. I have 8 guns. I can take these guys. Oh, they have no sails going on either. What's going on here? And I'm, apparently I've got grape shot. That's good. Trim down their number of men here for a sec. All right, I'm going to have to win some decisive fucking victories here. Oh, my sails! All right. Now I'm getting, like, crazy and desperate. If I hadn't gone after uh, Montalban there, then I would be in great shape to fight this guy here. Hopefully some of these guys will join my crew. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, I parried that. Oh, I didn't make my jump in time. I didn't duck in time. I started the duck. I'm hitting the buttons, but I'm being too slow. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm probably going to get arrested now. Okay. You got to focus on rebuilding your crew. I'm going in here with too few people. But see, people were like, oh, it's so easy. You just board and you do that. No, you need the numbers. You need the numbers. We had big crew numbers for a long time, which is why it was easy. Captured and locked away in a Kumana prison. Now, if I bought those lockpicks a while ago. Ah, months passed. Late one night, you managed to pry loose the bars in prison window. By avoiding town guards, you may be able to sneak out of town. No, shit. I thought it was sounds dangerous, but I'll try it. I didn't realize those were, there were two options there. Come on, let me out. All right. People are unhappy. Listen. Ignore these fuckers. I'm on the same ship. We just need to properly rebuild. Okay, there's Thunder Rock. Once we just get a proper crew again, we'll be okay. Thunder Rock. The treasure is down there. So it's right over here somewhere. It's kind of weird. 
Can we sail in there? Apparently we can. Okay, let's dock. I've been playing this for four hours now. Uh, yes, anchor here. That's probably a little too long, which is not helping. Because I'm, I'm trying to rush too much. Okay. So, relatively far east of Thunder Rock, Stonehead, Deserted Cabin, Indian Totem. And generally speaking, east. As long as my crew doesn't flip out before we find the treasure. I think that's the Stonehead. I don't think the geyser was something I was caring about. Yes, yeah, Stonehead there. Check again. Stonehead, so directly east of the Stonehead. So there's no other real landmarks to look for other than the actual burial spot itself. Come on, crew, hold out a little bit longer. You'll be okay. There's treasure right over here, I guarantee it. There it is. Right there. You guys will be happy. We'll recruit a million of you. We'll go and fuck some shit up. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I lost so much money doing all that. And yeah, you can win without uh, the crew. You just need reflexes, but it's so fast, and I don't have those kinds of reflexes. 5,000 gold pieces. And the crew's like, meh. It's not enough to make them, like, super happy. That's a prosperous trading post. Come on, get me. Can we not leave? Um, no, sail away. It's gonna be one of those situations. I think we might be stuck here. Further south, and through there. We got in here, we can get out. There we go. Yeah, we need more than 40 crew. Game's been reset here. Are they shooting at me? Yeah. I could sneak into town, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be able to recruit anyone. Oh, it's going to be slow. Dodge that. Now, we don't really need to go east anymore. What might be the thing to do would be to go up to Martinique from here. Or back to Curaçao. You know what? Sailing to Curaçao would be really fast. And we, we should be famous enough there. We should be able to either split our, uh, our loot or just get some more crew. Hmm. Yeah, the fun view. I don't like it. You can also, if you right-click, you can use your uh, telescope. It slows down the game as well, like it goes into slow motion. And you can use the telescope to try to find things. Which is kind of fun. Vroom! There we go. Crew's getting miserable. Invasion force? Wow. Who the hell are you invading? Oh, Margarita. Alright. Well, good on ya. These trade gallons are usually pretty weak. With no sails, I don't even want to get in a fight. For all I know, we'll get sunk. Margarita just got raided by Indians. That's true, and the Dutch are going there as well. But with 40 men, mm-mm. We've had our, our high points. Now we're at our low point. We were crushing face. But you get reset pretty quick, and then it's like, okay, how do we approach this? Well, assuming we can get a semi-loyal crew for a little while here. Let me French. Um, oh, I understand you're quite successful. You're a special I've always dreamt of a, a ruby ring or sparkling. I think they stole all my shit. King has ordered me to dispatch an order of peace to the French city of Guadalupe. The offer will be carried by a mail runner. In, please ensure this vessel arrives safely at its destination. But I don't want peace. No, actually, between you and the French? That works out. I'll escort it. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can definitely do that. Um, a map. Sure. For more treasure. Puerto Cabello. I know that area. I'm really close to it. It's not necessarily enough vision to go around. Spanish treasure fleet. Rio de la Hacho. Montalban. Yeah, well. Can't do you yet. Um, welcome aboard. I'm a little worried, actually, that maybe we can't take more people on. We'll repair the ship. Get some copper plating. How's the status of the ship, the crew here? They are unhappy. We're probably going to have to divide the plunder. Gladly take his share. Alright, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to reset our crew. Uh, I'm going to stay at the same difficulty. I'm, I'm not going to go down in difficulty, but you'll notice I didn't get the option of going up. Because it wasn't quite enough money. There we go. We got tons of food. We have no guns. 
and we have a shitty ship. Tavern, more crew. There we go. 75 men who are anxious to kick some ass. Okay. All right. And my personal status. I have... Oh, I lost all my units' items. I lost everything. I lost my good weapons. Shit. That is bad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and escort this with the peace treaty, because I like the French, apparently. <laughs> Let's play out of this. We might do some more live streaming. I think it's a good one to live stream. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to raid the easy stuff here, where we've got a lot of support. Uh, we might raid, like, all the English stuff and just try to get uh, a nice English ship. We gotta rebuild. What can we do? It's fine. We're still young-ish. We're only 25 years old and still in good health. We're not in fine health anymore. All right, we've, we've taken so many hits in combat, our health is starting to be compromised. But, you know, we could probably still get another, uh, at least another 10 years out of this, if not 20 years of piracy. And considering we've only been pirate for 7 years now, and about half of that has been spent on a deserted island or in prison... You can bounce back. And now, my my desire for vengeance against uh, Montalban is that much higher. We still have some of our fame, which counts for something. Uh, where am I going with this? I'm going to Martinique. I didn't realize, like, I thought I was following the ship. I didn't realize the ship was following me. I'm pretty sure the peace treaty is to Martinique. I can probably get it in my log. Holland's not going to be at war against anyone if I drop this off. Nah, they'll, they'll, they'll declare another war soon. Don't worry about it. Have you renamed your ship? Oh, no, this is a new ship. Oh, no, it's still called the Zervayan. I guess it kept my, um, my flagship name, but this is not a war brig, that's for sure. Okay, need a little more speed this way. Ships with uh, triangular sails, I believe, can go into the wind much better than ships with square sails. It's convenient right now, because we're mostly going into the wind. There we go, skirt the edge of a storm. Was it Guadalupe that I had to go to? Not Martinique? Okay, thank you. I'll head that way. I didn't see it in the uh, log, but at least you didn't lose your specialist. Oh, that's handy. On the call, I only had like three of them. Still more quartermaster, which would be really good. But I shouldn't have attacked the uh, the count right away. Like I knew it, right? Like or the the marquee. I was like, no, this is this is dumb odds. Needed a much bigger force. Needed like a full three hundred men, basically. Wealthy French capital. Um, what? No. Did I accidentally hit five? Apparently I accidentally hit five. Wouldn't be the first time I accidentally destroyed something. Or, oh no, it, it left on its own and decided it, it we bounced into one another. Right, they have slightly more crew than I do, but a much worse ship. Or less guns. Just hit them straight on with some grape shot out their numbers a bit. Give them another dose of that. Um, oh, okay. That was not lined up the way I thought it was. Okay. This should be fine. You know, the other thing, too, is I've been injured so much that my character... That's the other thing that this game does. Is as you get injured and older, they increase the speed of everyone else in the game to represent the fact that your reflexes are not the same anymore. That's one of the advantages if you start with the, um, the fencing skill. Everyone else is effectively slower. Gives you more time to respond. I think that might be what's happening. I think I've taken so many pokes in combat that my character is effectively being slowed down relative to everyone else. Also, we've gone up a difficulty level, so... Yeah, welcome aboard, lads. We actually lost quite a few people on the ship. I will take the ship as well.
So yeah, I helped uh, escort your thing. Oh, and you hate the English, which is great. Promotions, I'm an admiral, lovely. State is bigger. And you have a beautiful daughter. Shall we dance? Oh, I don't have a ruby ring. I would love to give you a ruby ring. This is the first time an attractive daughter has asked for one. And I don't have one. Welcome aboard, mates. Uh, mm, thousand... A pass. Yeah, no kidding, he's got a lightning quick thrust skill. Ugh, I don't want to go after that guy. I'll come back to it. I don't have really anything to trade. We'll repair the ship. Um, I'll get... No, I'm not going to get bronze cannons. I'm not going to bother upgrading the ship. I'm going to try to get a big one. A better one. Maybe I would have wanted to upgrade it to the brig. It didn't occur to me. It might have been an upgrade. It's fine. Um, let's uh, keep harassing the English. English towns to the north of us? Yeah. What do we got here? Sloop of War. Perfect. It's exact. That's a literal upgrade to what we're doing. Just hanging around, shooting a... Uh, Montserrat, we're going to start in relatively close, and on the correct direction of the wind. There we are. Oh, I still have the other ship. Derp, I forgot to sell it. Oh well. There we go. Trim down the crew size. Woom! Boom! Oh, that was kind of incompetent. Still just trying to trim down the crew a little so I don't lose as many people as I'd hoped. There we go. Well, we're slightly ahead. 69 to 61. Ah, this guy feels much slower. This guy is so much slower than everyone else. And it could be because we started with more men. But look, like, I have like 100 years to respond to this guy. Oh, apparently though, my attack, even though I'm using a rapier, was so slow that he was able to respond... Oop, duck. Thank you. Perry, get in the fire. But it wasn't a mistake, it was role-playing. Quillvan18 couldn't restrain himself from attacking his arch nemesis. That's true! There's no way I couldn't attack him. Now, attacking the treasure fleet after, that was a mistake. But my pride was wounded. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to take everything, yes. And then we're going to check the fleet. We're going to change our flagship to the Sloop of War, which we now have to rename. And we will rename it based on a subscriber, which I just accidentally closed that tab. That's our way to go. Good job. Was. There it is. Do, do, do. Oh, we are one off of having being able to call the ship the Ms. Carsonell, but it's going to be the AM 96 UK, which sounds like a radio station. Or someone who's really old from the UK. All right, there we go. Uh, I have a good crew, a good ship. I'm going to attack this ship. Within range of the enemy port, which I don't think matters. Bam! Nice. Double nice. Oh, this one doesn't have any upgrades, so no grape shot for me. Alright, good enough. Close in. This should be easy. Like, he's not... This is not a military individual. He doesn't have a big crew. Look, look, like... 100 years to respawn. A world of difference between uh, Montalban and this. But what's nice is, you know, you can sort of pick and choose your difficulty. You can just, like, go after these merchant ships all day long. And get free and easy loot. Welcome aboard, lads. Uh, that's, we're not even going to be able to sell this for any real money. Right, but that kind of damage, and we we'll get like 10 gold out of it. So I'm just going to sink the ship. So I don't have to split up my uh, crew anymore. English Pirate Hunter! I'd rather not fight you, actually. You're probably a little bit harder than what I'm looking to fight. So... 
I'd rather just ignore you and go to Saint Estusius. Please, please to be not damaging my other ships. Thank you. All right, hello, Governor. I can't believe you're at peace with everyone. Recently discovered a peace, uh, delivered a peace treaty to the French. The king will be pleased. Someday you might be promoted to baron. Really? Ah, you have a beautiful blonde daughter. Because I'm not, I'm pretty sure this is the first person I've seen with this hair so far. She does have like an odd colored skin thing going on here. I'm not convinced that this is the ultimate one for us, but I'm going to try to impress her with my dancing seal. I do have charm and wit. You can see the lines in my face. My character is visibly getting older. I have charm and wit, which does give you an advantage to dancing. And apparently if we dance real well, uh, we could get presents. It's back and forth dance. Come on, get the twirls. Oops. Three, two, three, one, two, three, wrong button. Alright, I know this bit. Yeah, I know this bit. And that bit. And that bit. No twirl that time. More flourishes! More flourishes! Yes! a great mini game. It's surprisingly fun. Oh, you're pushing me back. And then this way. And then that way. Oh shit. This is complicated. I don't know this part. And then you bow again so I come towards you. Alright. Oh, and the governor's in the background. I never noticed that. Oh, she winked at me. I believe you have an uncle who's been missing for many years. The evil Spaniard, Baron Raimondo, has information. Alright, that's it? No present? Lightning quick low slash. Well, that's not... Alright. I guess that's okay. Uh, let's sell some stuff. All these goods. And keep the extra guns, because we will want 32 at some point. Although I don't think we've got a ship for it yet. Uh, ship right. So... Sloop of War, we want to start using, so we got to start upgrading this bad boy. Um, we're definitely going to sell the uh, Oceania. Got some upgrades. Brigantine. A oh, Brigantine is the smallest ship. Okay, so no, we don't want that one. Sell. Uh, we don't quite have enough space if we get rid of the Zervayan. Um, we still have way too much food. And you actually sell food for a pretty high price. We actually don't have to go very far to pluck at the English here, so we're going to be okay. There we go. We can sell you. Keep one little ship here. Um, go to the tavern. Get some more men. Ah, welcome aboard. Ooh, bird treasure. Yeah, all right. I'll take some more of that map. All right, there's the actual town. There we go. That'll be much easier to reach now that we know where the town is. Just east of the town, head straight south. We get some treasure. Now, the question is, do we keep picking on the English or do we go straight for the treasure? Skilled surgeon on board Le Marin. Yves? I don't know. Oh, the drunk marine. Yeah. Or the drunk uh, sailor. Uh, I believe she's a French sloop bound for San Juan. Oh, the French. All right, so it sucks going after the French because we're trying to, you know, suck up to them a fair bit. But... A skilled surgeon would be really good for us. Heading towards San Juan from Montserrat. We'll go down. Okay. All right. We're going to try to go for that. Uh, I think we're all set here. Stay away from this English ship for now. The French raider. 
I wonder if I can intercept it down here. Not these guys. One leaving most rot? Maybe not. Because it was going from here to San Juan. Ow. Starting to protect their ships when I'm nearby. Hmm. I'm not convinced we're going to be able to find that ship with the surgeon. It either left earlier, and so we missed it. We'll do one last pass. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're probably going to go for that treasure. We have a half-decent combat ship right now. What would be nice is a big pile of money. Oh, yeah. I got these ships. These towns fire at me. You. French Raider. No, I don't think uh, I don't think we're getting anything. How's the war status? War. Okay, the French are at war with everyone. So I can pick on anyone at all, and the French will be happy. Except, of course, the French themselves. Here, it's going to attack. This is not going to be a huge reward. Oh, get sunk, buddy. Get sunk. You have 90 crew? Damn. Alright, this might be a little bit of a challenging fight. Nope, we're fine. Fine-ish. Yeah, I got the dizzy thing going on as well. Oh my god. I actually blocked correctly, but my character responded too slowly there. Well, I mean, I probably needed to block. Oh, see, there's another thing. I, I successfully dodged, but I wasn't able to land the, the return blow. I should probably focus that my return blows will always be thrust now, just because I need the speed of them. They do slightly less of a knockback, slightly less damage, but if I jump over a blow and then I can't return, that's bad. Welcome aboard, lads. I actually lost quite a few people there. Um, we're going to sink her if she's worth nothing. We'll take as much as we can. Did I just go through the... Yeah, we're pretty damaged. Let's repair in Guadalupe. But then, treasure. I don't suppose you ever got anything for me? Oh, intercepted the governor. Hey, hey, we're now the Baron. Crew recruiting will be much easier in French ports. And look at that. My hat and everything starts to get swankier and swankier. Now see, I like the purple dress. Oh, yeah, I want to get you a ring. Okay, where are we right now? Guadalupe. That, that This might be the place where we find our, uh, our true love here. Um, yeah, I want to buy a ring from you. I don't want information about a place. Welcome aboard. London, bound for Antigua. That's a lot of money. Well, if we see it, we'll sink it. Heading to Trinidad. We don't have, like, a big monstrous ship to hold a ton of crew and fight him. Let's focus on getting treasure. We're looking for an English ship called the London. It's New London. Troops. And ultimately, we're heading... here. So, we actually can travel kind of westerly. French smuggler. Whoa, look at that speed! Vroom! All right, let's dig up the treasure, and then we're going to end the uh, the pirates part of this live stream. Pirate raiders. Oh, it'd be fun to go and harass them. Get some credit with everyone. Everyone. Uh, where are we now? Here, we need to be here. So we need to head directly west. Avoiding the uh, Spanish towns who are going to shoot at me. What the hell is... Oh, for fuck's sake.
It's the Marquis again. I, he's gonna have like 300 men. I've got 100. In a ship that's not upgraded with anything except accuracy. All right, guys. Knowing very well that it's, there's a good chance I won't be able to beat him in singles combat unless we like really hammer him down. The problem is I don't have I don't have any specialty weapons or upgrades on my ship. Uh, attack the marquee. Yes. No. Uh, apparently, I got logged out of Twitch. I love it when Twitch does that. Like, you're in the middle of something, and then, like, you type a response, and it's like, Whoa, whoa, cowboy! You better, uh, you better sign in again. It's like, I've been signed in. What the hell's wrong with you? Boom. There's the marquee pull. I mean, there's the smart thing, and then there's the awesome thing. And then there's the emotional thing. All right. You know what we're doing? Hatless! I repeat, we are going hatless. Problem is, I have old man reflexes both in game uh, and out of game. We're doing it. Draw poll has spoken by a pretty pretty decent margin, ten percent margin in favor of attacking him. I have no weapons, no armor, no balanced set of weapons. Fuck it. Let's do it. Marquis, you're going down. Got 39 guns. He's actually, the crew's not that much bigger than mine. Oh, that fucking hurt. What the fuck? One shot at me. Admittedly, I mean, I sort of turned. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I mean, I get rescued. Well, now I don't have enough people. Honestly, didn't lose much. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like push button, destroy person. I mean, I had a light ship. And I sort of turned into the gunfire, but without any upgrades, right? We didn't have, like, the, the stronger anythings. For <laughs> fuck's sake, 39 cannons, and we got hit by a big part of them. I was hoping that by turning that way, I would cause it to, to overshoot. No, I repaired in Guadalupe. We had a fully repaired ship. 100% repaired ship. All right, well... Treasure. Oh, it's the other side. This is Krakus. We're gonna make sure that Krakus doesn't actually shoot at us. Attack him again. Um, I think we'll have to wait a little bit before that. We'll have to continue it next week. Next week, we'll get ourselves a nice big-ass fucking galleon. That's the thing. Even though it kind of sucks in normal combat, uh, we'll have, like, a light ship for most of our raiding, and then we'll haul a bigger ship behind us. And then, when it's time to go and attack him, we'll have big, big, big numbers. Keep forgetting that I can't use the same keys. So, basically straight south from here, we got a stone archway and a tree. So, if we go here, check our map. An archway there it might be what we're seeing in the dead tree, which means we're right on top of it. Is there a geyser? Oh, there it is! Well, that was easy. Shittiest hidden treasure in the history of everything. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Six thousand gold bucks. Well, there you go. Let's just go and retire. We've got like some pretty big estates. How old are we now? Like we've taken a beating. Twenty-six years old. See, we're like old man pirate now. What we're gonna do? We're gonna return to the ship. We will go ahead and save. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take a brief break and then we're going to we're going to play some uh, Team Fortress 2 with subscribers. So I will uh, immediately email all subscribers. So all the new subscribers, you will have the information for how to get into the private TF2 server. We'll goof around in there for um, at this point. We've already gone. Normally, I try to go until about four o'clock. We're already at 420. Um, so we'll go for another half hour, 45 minutes or something like that in TF2. Usually enough for like one solid game or something. And then, uh, we'll call it a day. So I want to thank everyone who's been here for the uh, pirate stream. Uh, it's totally okay if you don't want to stick around for TF2. I understand. No worries there. And, uh, same time next week, uh, every Saturday noon, unless, you know, I'm out of the country or something crazy like that. So, um, uh, stop on by for that. And if you uh, haven't done it, make sure to hit your, uh, the follow button so that you get email notifications when we go live. And of course, if you want to follow me on uh, youtube.com slash quill18. I would appreciate that. Okay, be back after a short break. I'm just going to email all the subscribers and we'll play some TF2.